Hi everybody and welcome to my uh, review of InMotion V12 which was kindly provided me by EcoDrift company. <clears throat> so firstly I would like to speak uh, about the look like of the wheel. The design is like uh, of uh, M Super uh, M Super AX and RS and if you like uh, the M Super design you will definitely like this design I like it very much uh, so speaking about the uh, light of it it has a uh, very interesting light here in the front uh, it has four LEDs with the high beam low beam and both um, functionality but I must say that uh, it is not the best light I've ever seen because it's just sufficient. It, it can be compared uh, to the light of, uh, for example, Kingsong S18 or uh, uh, Bigot RS, but nothing more. I'm really curious why InMotion didn't install here uh, the light of uh, uh, V11, which is definitely the best light for now on the market. But yeah, still it's sufficient and it's sufficient for uh, slow riding, for example, in uh, dark forest but nothing more because you really can get into the bump uh, just not seeing it and uh, fall from the from this wheel um, as for other lighting it's pretty cool so here is the LED strips uh, there are LED strips here and here uh, this is fully customizable so you can uh, choose uh, predefined uh, sets of it or you can uh, make uh, DIY sets. It's uh, fully available in the application of InMotion. But I must say that uh, in uh, this particular wheel, it's uh, really dim. Uh, it's not a problem for the night ride, uh, for example, from the uh, sides of it or from the front, because in the night it looks uh, really good. Uh, and yeah, it uh, helps you uh, to be noticed by the drivers if you go for example on the road where the cars are going uh, but uh, as for the tail lights uh, which is uh, working like uh, when you are riding it's uh, like a um, tail light and when you are braking it starts blinking brighter uh, so this is like your stop signal and it's very dim for the daylight uh, so uh, drivers won't see if you are braking for example if you are riding on sunny day uh, but yeah this is uh, the pre-production wheel I hope that on production will uh, in motion will change that and uh, provide much brighter lights uh, since it's uh, necessary for the safety of riding uh, during the day and yeah on the photos which were released on the internet it it looked uh, like it was very bright but I don't know why it's so dim here a cool feature of this uh, wheel is uh, its display uh, before uh, the V12 release I was looking at the uh, displays of for example veteran Sherman or Bigot RS uh, and I didn't really like it. It was not uh, the problem for me uh, to open the smartphone and to do some settings from there or check some information. But after riding for several days with the, this display, I really loved this option. And uh, this is how the displays uh, must be done in all wheels. Um, yeah, this display is uh, pretty bright. It's uh, really comfortable to use in the night time and in the daytime uh, the fonts are pretty good all necessary information is here like uh, your current speed like your battery state it's in percentage it's in the bar or it's in the voltage if you can detect your uh, battery state by voltage it's here uh, so when you stand on the wheel it's really easy to uh, read all the information on it even if you are riding fast it's really cool and yeah, it's a touch screen, so you can swipe it and it has more additional information like on your mile, mileage or some other cool stuff. And of course, you can uh, change settings of the wheel by this display. It's really cool. So now you are no longer need uh, your cell phone. You just go into the settings, adjust it and you've done. You can ride uh, without the cell phone at all. So speaking about the trolley handle, unfortunately it was broken for me, so 
I can't say that it is uh, really working here, but yeah, I've tested uh, another wheel, which is uh, in motion V11. Uh, it is, uh, it has similar trolley handle. Yeah, and it is uh, pretty comfortable when it's fixed. It's uh, okay to uh, move the wheel with it. Uh, yeah, but uh, in comparison, for example, with the King Song, I would uh, say that it is the second place of the uh, trolley handles. The first place is definitely the King Song type. Uh, this is the second one, and the third place I would give uh, to the in motion. And of course, yeah, with the King Song, the veteran Sherman also is the comfortable trolley handle, of course. Another cool feature here is this kickstand. Uh, because, yeah, I know that uh, all of the EUC owners has the special stands for EUCs and it is much better to store your EUC there. But uh, when you go, for example, to your friend's uh, home or, for example, to the office, it's very comfortable to have such an option. Uh, some of you might say that it is not so rigid on that, but uh, I've been charging this wheel uh, for a couple of nights on this kickstand and it was absolutely no problem, it didn't fall. Once you do not hit your wheel uh, while coming around, it won't fall by itself. It's a re really cool option, I really like it. On the back of the wheel there is a, a charge port and USB plus USB-C. It's also done really cool because, you know, when uh, King Song or um, Bigade style when they install all this stuff here on the front. Uh, I didn't like that because when you are riding on the rain all the water can get in and of course you might have uh, possible problems and here on the back there definitely will be much less water in, uh, in this case. Yeah of course I can talk uh, a lot about how it looks like, about its features and cool stuff and lighting but the main reason we are buying the wheels is uh, how they are riding, how do they feel during riding and uh, this wheel is really insane during riding. Uh, right now I am an owner of two powerful wheels, it's uh, Gatway Ubigade MCM5 and RS and I will uh, of course compare it with uh, this wheel and yeah, it's, uh, it, it rides like the Bigade. It accelerates really hard. It doesn't matter from which speed you are trying to accelerate. Either it's about zero kilometers per hour or you are going 30, you just push it and it accelerates really hard and awesome. Also, the brakes are great. Um, yesterday I was riding uh, to shoot some videos uh, about the night uh, lighting and uh, of course I was riding with 65% uh, battery and uh, I was pushing as hard as I can with all my weight, it's 78 kilos and it didn't cut out, it was just accelerating me really hard and it was really so much fun. Um, yeah, the, the reason I like the powerful wheels is about its torque and its acceleration. For example, when you are doing the group ride and you are on the back of the group and you want to go forward, you just push the wheel, it uh, accelerates you and now you are in the front of it. It's really fun and awesome. I really like the torque of these wheels and yeah, this is a really torquey wheel. This gives you so much fun when you are accelerating and braking hard. Uh, it has the big battery uh, which gives you no problem with voltage sack and uh, in the same time it feels very light and nimble. You do not feel this weight when riding this wheel. Uh, for example, uh, when you are going through the pedestrians, you can easily ride this wheel with the pedestrian speed. Yeah, I agree with the in motion that this is the ultimate commuter device because uh, if you uh, want to go to the uh, road where the cars are going, you can easily jump, go there really fast. It's not a problem for this wheel either. This is a cool wheel to have and uh, yeah, if I would uh, limit it uh, in owning for just one wheel, uh, not the three like I have right now, I of course uh, would prefer to have V12 because you can ride uh, this wheel slowly chilling down uh, the street uh, with the pedestrians or you can uh, do the hard acceleration through the 
uh, road with the uh, cars and this is not a problem for this wheel at all. So to make the conclusion about this uh, review, I must say that uh, for now we have a wheel uh, which is um, uh, the example how the Gateway or Bigori had been done uh, before because you know that uh, many people uh, like the Bigori how it rides but they don't like the quality. The quality is really shitty. Uh, for example, I love my RS very much, but uh, when I look in the, the wheel well, uh, uh, the wooden screws which are coming from outside make me really upset. And of course, the tape inside of the shell also looks ugly. And in motion does the wheels with much more quality. You won't find any wooden screws or tape or things like this inside the shell. Uh, the build quality of the wheel is awesome, the materials and uh, so on. Uh, of course, it doesn't have the hollow motor, it's classical motor, which means um, uh, much cheaper maintenance for that. The bearings uh, doesn't cost uh, anything in comparison with the hollow motors. Uh, also, the reliability is much better. Um, this wheel uh, is uh, of IPX5 protection, which means you can ride it in the rain. Uh, and the battery of its wheel is IPX7, uh, which means you can uh, pour it in the water up to one meter uh, down. And this is really awesome. This is really cool. Uh, this is what I've been dreaming of in all electric unicycles and all electric uh, scooters. Uh, market uh, when you can just buy your wheel take it out of the box and just try it you don't need any hydro protection any extra work with that to prepare it for bad weather or rains or snow or something it just works out of the box and it is really awesome it is really cool uh, yeah and the, if i hadn't uh, been the owner of the rs i would definitely pre-order this wheel because i really love it it's it's really the great wheel done by in motion and i think it is a perfect competitor to the bigada so now bigada will have to do something with its quality otherwise there is no reason to buy bigada since you have the uh, v12 which rides like bigada but gives you much more quality of the assembly and so on so that's about it if you like this video please like and subscribe uh, to see more content like this see you soon